What's happening troops? Welcome back to another video on the Sharp Dev YouTube channel. You have been smashing the like button recently. So since this is a Rangers vlog and these usually bang on the channel, let's aim for 500 likes on this one. So it is Rangers versus Dundee today. Dundee are down at the bottom of the league, but they've been playing no bad, apparently. I've not seen them play much myself, but apparently they try and play football. But I think, and I'm expecting them to come to Ibrox today and try and play a wee bit more defensive. But I think that Rangers will have too much for them, and I'm going for 4-0. Currently, I'm going to pick up Sharp Da and also Alec Boy, and we're going to head over to the stadium. But first... Roll the intro. Sharp down the house, what's your score prediction? It's happening trip. Sharp Dad's gonna go for a full zero today. That's what I'm going for. Feeling confident. Who's gonna be first goal scorer? I'm gonna go Alfredo, man. He's just back for uh, international duty, man. He'll be buzzing, man. Buzzing. Alright troops, that is me back in the house and I want to just say a few things on the performance before you leave me here. So firstly, before I say anything, I noticed that Stevie G's tactics today were spot on. Some of the things that I did notice was the fact that when we were hitting a goal kick, he told our wingers to go in tight, almost like free up front essentially, pushed Hav and Barisic forward and this was so 
that the left wing backs and the right wing backs of Dundee were occupied. The centre back came out of position for Dundee to win the header because the full backs weren't strong enough and when he did do that Rangers had to then pick up the second ball and it was up to us to play from there having isolated and got one of those centre backs out of position, dragged them out and we took them apart. We absolutely vandalised Dundee the day. For me I would score that performance as a good solid 8 out of 10 the day. Very composed very professional against a team that are struggling hugely um, not one to say on who should be sacked or whatever but I think McCann's time is really running out over at Dundee and I think that Kenny Muller could be his replacement. Dundee tried to employ the tactics that Motherwell tried on us. They played a 3-5-2, almost a 5-3-2 essentially I would say because their wing backs were so deep. They had Calvin Muller who is actually somebody I used to play football with. He played in my team, the only difference was I was a wee fat cunt and he scored 5 a game so... Aye. He actually done decent for them, he was the only player I thought in their team that could have caused problems for Rangers, put a good few crosses into the box but that was about it. Kenny Mullen never had a kick of the ball and obviously he was also sent off. Kevin Clancy man, you are a goon, you are a complete idiot. The game almost dwindled and ended in like the 60th minute. And the players never had much to play for, even the Dundee players were playing for a 3-0 defeat. And this guy was zooming about, the referee, usually because the atmosphere and how tight games usually are, it's hard to pick up on exactly what a referee is doing, but I could see through him, he was transparent the day, he was trying to send a player off, he targeted Morelos, Morelos put in a late time tackle, never a booking, Goldson, never a booking, and Kenny Mullers, second one, maybe a second yellow card, but not a red card. Definitely not a red card. So Kevin Clancy, for me, and the calibre of referees here, is shocking and it's minging. So it is. And we can't just let it go since Rangers won 3-0 today. So for me, I look at it from this aspect. Is this guy anti-Rangers or is he just incompetent? By him sending off Kenny Miller today, I think it leans towards being incompetent. I think we should be going down the route of making these guys full-time referees and taking that financial support that they do have, that little comfortable job that they all fall back in, taking that away, paying them more essentially, training them more, getting them fitter and making this a full-time profession because if you think it, if you don't have anything to fall back on, you're going to strive for perfection in your chosen craft. With all that being said, thoroughly enjoyed myself the match today. Shout out to the boy that came up to me, Aiden, comes from Bucky, five hours on the bus, don't you Ibrox? Down to all the games, shout out to you my man and also just all your players today that put in a really good performance, especially Candias. Shout out also to Middleton who got his first goal for Rangers Day, thoroughly, thoroughly deserved for the young guy. I was glad to see that he got so much minutes and he deserves it after his performances for Scotland under 19 where he got 3 assists in the first game versus Poland and he scored in the second game versus Poland, came off the bench and just single handedly ran the show. Bali got to sell a goal, brilliant to see him back, he's a big player for us, something we've missed that engine in the middle of the park. The other goals came from Kent, unbelievable feat for the wee man, he's had his doubters this season but I can vouch for him and I can say that he is a player that I've enjoyed to watch. Good day at the office, three points, we push up the league and now it's all about next week. Villarreal away, just enjoy it Bears, enjoy it. Because it's been a hard time for us the last seven year or eight year or whatever. Enjoy it. Win, lose or draw. Make sure you are heard. Right people, if you're new in here, please subscribe. I've been Sharp Dev. It's quite difficult always to film at the matches because I'm just enjoying it so much. But I'm always trying to get some clips for you. So if you appreciate that, please smash the like button. And I will see you in the next one. I'm out. All my weakness keep on lingering.